This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Obviously, that's not the afternoon we wanted. Um, with a different outcome. I thought our fans were terrific um, showing up. You know, I thought that was great. Um, and uh, you know, we, we just we weren't very good, especially when the game was on the line uh, tonight. With turnovers. Um, but I thought what really hurt us for the second game in a row was transition defense. It was a whole halftime speech, and we gave up three wide open threes to start the second half. Gave them a lot of confidence. Um, so, just got to keep working in a young team. Um, Illinois was terrific. We made a lot of plays, a lot of shots. And uh, they played better than we did today. They deserved it. Hand up for questions, please. Don. Mark, how critical were the last few minutes of the first half going <coughs> from up 11 to up 4? Yeah, I mean, we were cruising a little bit. We were feeling good about ourselves. But, um, you know, I still told the guys, I said, you know, we're good, we're still in good shape um, up four, and we'll just build it again. We built eight, and then all of a sudden we're down two because we decided not to run back. Um, but, you know, we had some timely things. Um, miss layup, miss front end one and one, one when it was a game. I think we were up one. Um, we, just, we just weren't very good um, when we needed to be good. So, And they were. They were terrific uh, when they needed to be. Yeah. Well, they did a great job on Anthony. They, they just locked in on Anthony. Um, and we had to leave 57-52. We had Bruno for a layup, and we didn't make the play. And it felt like we were on 57 forever. And that usually happens. So um, we talked about it. We showed it. We got a, then we got a three-point lead on the on the on the lob out of bounds, and I felt pretty good. But it's kind of who we are. But usually we can, you know, we at least get a shot or something, or figure out how to get to the foul line. We didn't do that today. We just shot it quick or turned it over. I mean, it just felt like we missed the front of one, end of the one and one, or turned the ball over from you know seven minute mark down to about the four minute mark, and that was really the game because we could have had a lead going in that last time out, and we didn't. Uh, we're down three. So um, it's one of those days, not the way we wanted to, to, to play. That's obvious. I think, you know, I've been bragging about our league. That's a really good team. We can't look at their record. And uh, they're going to win a lot of games, I think, moving forward. And today should give them a lot of confidence. Patrick, Mark, I know you guys went with Daryl on the four for as long as yeah. was there. Was that as much to contend with them defensively? It was a lot of things, but mostly trying to guard them. Uh, they were spacing the floor really well, and they were making shots. And then, most importantly, transition defense, because we just couldn't get back in transition um, with the bigger lineup. Um, right or wrong, I thought it was the right thing to do. It didn't work out. I hear you right there. Mark, you mentioned how tough the league is. I think right now there's about 10 teams projected to make the tournament. Can you just kind of assess how strong the league is overall and the chances of you know, a couple teams going through the match? Well, um, you know, it's, it's, I think we're halfway through it. I think we played 10 games. Um, and um, we've played everybody. I don't know who, who we haven't played. Um, I know Michigan State's really good. We just played them. Uh, we haven't played Michigan yet. They're coming up. But I do think we have great depth um, in the league. And um, so every night's tough. It's about keeping your guys fresh and getting them ready to play on game day and play well on game day um, is real important. Um, but that's three straight away from home for us. And I know it was a home game. Our crowd was great, but still traveling, right? Um, and so there's a lot to go with that. So we got to figure out a way to stay fresh when we travel. I think we got two of our next three on the road and four of our next six on the road. So we're in, we're in quite a stretch. But I do think that our league is, is going to get a lot of teams in, deservedly so. And um, 
and I imagine we're going to beat each other up, you know, over the next few months. It's just how you handle the defeats and try to bounce back from them. That great coach. Uh, what kind of positives can you take from a game like this? Uh, what can you really build off of? I know it's a tough loss, but there's got to be some kind of positive. Um, there's a lot of things you can learn from it. Um, things that just didn't happen today, but things that led up to the game. So we can learn from that. Um, I told the guys, I don't know, they were up two or something, or we were up two, about ten to go. I said, man, this is awesome. Neutral court, great crowd, they're playing well, people are playing well. How fun is this? Just trying to get them relaxed a little bit. So in the end, at the end of the year, you got to win neutral court games against really good teams. So um, you can take a positive out of that um, part of it. But, um, you know, um, I thought we handled the pressure really well early. I thought that was a positive. We just didn't do as well uh, late in the game. Last one, Tom. Mark, in, in, in terms of uh, the turnovers, you guys have been doing a really good job of late. And, and a lot of them just, and there were some that were almost near turnovers. It looked like you guys were just not totally locked in. Uh, easy thing. Yeah, we, we, we had some bad turnovers. Um, you know, some, you know, you, 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 we, we had some bad turnovers. We weren't good at the ball. We were a little bit out of sync um, because they were total deny on Anthony. Um, we had to play some funny lineups because um, we just felt like watching scout tapes and then what was going on during the game. It was good for us, but um, we didn't react well to certain situations, and we have to be better with that. And we played with poise at the start, you know, with good spacing and getting them lane. We just didn't do that, um, and our decision making wasn't as good late, right? Instead of getting in the paint, pitching it out, we were trying to score over two or three guys and jumping off one foot, and you know, just the decision making just wasn't as as, as, as good as it's been the last few weeks. Thanks, coach. You get our players up the available outside our locker room.